If you've been struggling with bad knees or knee pain during high intensity workouts and you can't do things like squats, lunges, and jumps, then this cardio session is gonna be for you. Welcome back to Live Lean TV. I'm Jessica Guthrow. I just came out with a brand new program, Tone at Home, and it's been really awesome so far. Thank you guys so much for making the launch week super amazing. I'm so pumped for everyone who's now following these workouts. I've gotten a few questions and concerns about knee pain or bad knees. Like if you have bad knees, can you still do this program? Because even though it is a body weight, zero equipment program, it still has some high intensity in it. And there are a lot of squats, lunges, jumps, and especially in the cardio sessions, the cardio sessions kind of require strong and healthy knees. So if that's not you and you feel like your knees just can't handle it, I wanna show you how you can make it work. And I want you to focus on the things that you can do instead of just dwelling in those few things that you can't do. So I'm gonna lead you through one of the entire cardio workouts from this program, but in a low impact knee friendly version with no squatting, no lunging, no jumping, and no impact on your joints. So you can do the entire workout with me. And if you love this and you do want to make it higher intensity, you can follow the original version inside Tone at Home. There are going to be times if your knee is injured, for example, that you need to just take it easier for a while. Or you know, if you have like an actual torn ligament or some actual real medical condition, then this type of workout is something that you can use that's not going to aggravate or cause pain in your knees. So this will be handy for a lot of people, whether you have always had bad knees or you're just going through a temporary knee issue, you can follow this workout. So let's do it. And I am going to go through the entire thing with you in the knee friendly, low impact version. And oops, I am so sorry about this, but I did not realize the microphone was turned off while I'm filming this workout. So I'm talking as if the microphone's working, but it's not. So I'm just gonna voice it over for you so you can still do the workout with me and you can know what I was saying. I was saying we're about to do the warm up, and we're gonna do four reps of each move, starting with stepping jacks, no jumps included. So you're gonna stand with your feet together, hands together, and then like a jumping jack, you're gonna raise your arms over your head, but instead of jumping, you just step one foot out to the side and alternate sides. So practice four reps of those, and here I'm mentioning if you wanna do the full version, it would look like this, where you jump your legs out, but if that hurts your knees, do not jump and just stick with the step version only. Next up would be pop squat but instead we're gonna do pop steps. So just stepping out, stepping in. So use your arms, really get your arms involved here because I'm mentioning that that will help, you know, increase the cardio benefit that you're getting because you're involving more muscle groups. So instead of just moving your legs, try to get your whole body involved, tight core and work your arms. Next up, we have high knee march in place. And here I'm mentioning to really land your feet softly and be careful with your knees. You're just lifting them, which is not gonna put any pressure on the knees, but I really want you to mainly use your core strength to lift that knee up. So each time you raise your knee, you're really thinking about contracting your abs. That's important. And then land your feet softly on the ground so that it's more of a core movement than a leg movement. Then lastly, we have side steps. So you're just gonna step to the right, cross your foot behind you, step to the left, cross your foot behind, and really get your arms involved in this one too for the best results. I want you to really work all of the muscles in your upper body at the same time as you're working your lower body. This move is great for toning inner and outer thighs, but it's important you use your arms too and don't just like rest your hands on your hips. You wanna use those arms and be as, as athletic as you possibly can. We're gonna start with 20 reps of each of those moves and we'll do them for 10 rounds with a descending rep scheme, starting with 20, working down to two. So Get ready to start in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. No rest between exercises. Let's go straight into pop steps. So pop open, pop close, pop open pop close. And from here on out, I'm not going to make you listen to me count. I want you to count your own reps, focus on your own intensity, and really just enjoy this cardio workout. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Now switch to high knee, march in place, hands up, and let's go. Good, and for the last exercise, those side to side steps. So step over, cross your leg in the back, and just keep alternating side to side. Remember the count is only counting the right, so one, cross, two, cross. Keep going. Okay, good, so you've just finished the circuit of four exercises. This is where I want you taking your water breaks in between circuits, but not in between exercises. So wait until you complete all four and then grab that water. We're gonna go on to round two, 18 reps per move, starting with the jacks, 18 reps, let's go. Okay, switch to the pop steps for 18. And now high knee march in place, remember to use those abs. And the last exercise, side to side steps. Okay, yes, you made it through your first two rounds. Those are the hardest and everything gets easier from here. Our next round is gonna be 16 of everything. So grab your water and then get back into position. Stand with your feet together and hands together and let's go. Okay, 16 complete, go into the pop steps, so pop open, pop close, and use those arms, be athletic, and be light on your feet. Good, now switch to the high knee march in place. And lastly, the side to side steps for 16 reps. Remember, count the right only. Okay. 
Grab a water break here, and now we're gonna move down to 14 reps of each move. I'm not sure what I was saying, something about how the workout gets easier, and mentally it's just easier to handle knowing that each round is gonna be easier than the last. I think that's what I said right there. So grab that water, get back in place, hands together, feet together, and go. Next up, 14 reps of pop steps. Pop open, pop close, make it athletic, and move as quick as you can to get your heart rate up. And use your arms. Switch over to high knees, 14. And immediately to side to side steps. Try and take a wider step if you can. The wider the better, and of course the faster you move the better as well. But if you need to modify it, you can just take smaller, lighter, more gentle steps. Good, okay, 14s is done. We're moving down to 12s for our next round. 12 reps of each move. Step jacks starting now. And pop steps, let's go. and switch to the high knee march in place. And side to side steps, go. Nice, good work. Okay, I think here I'm mentioning that we are kind of at the midpoint now where we have 10 down to two left. So things move a lot faster here and the rounds go by a lot quicker and I want you to give even like more intensity. So your body's fully warmed up now and you know things are gonna get easier and you're almost done. So really just turn the dial up to that 110% effort and really you know, work on that form. So let's go with these step jacks. 10 reps with the best form and intensity possible. and switch right into the pop steps, go. And now high knees for 10 reps. Do the side steps. 10 reps per side. And as you can see, I like to celebrate the completion of each round. I think celebrating our small victories along our finish journey is so important because it keeps the vibe really positive. Let's move straight into our eights, starting with the jacks. Eight reps. And the pop step. Switch to high knees. And finish with those side to side hops or keep it very low impact and just step only. Okay, I'm 
not even gonna pause for a water break here because we're so close to the end. Everything's moving really fast. I'm just gonna go straight into it. So six reps. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch to pop steps. We're changing exercises quickly here, so you gotta pay attention. Get those pop steps in and go to high knees. Four, three, two, one, and side steps. Go six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, I don't need a water break here. I'm just gonna go straight into my fours. Go four, three, two, one. Pops, four, three, two, one. We're almost done, high knees. Three, two, one, side. Four, three, two, one. And our final round is just two of everything. I love this finish because it's so fast. There we go, two jacks. One and two. Pop steps, one and two. High knees, one and two. Sides, one and two and done. Good job, you just completed this workout. This was the low impact version of this workout that the full version is in my Tone at Home program. So if you want the full version, it's right here. You may be wondering about the effectiveness of this type of workout. Like, are your results gonna be as good if you're doing all this low impact modification? I mean, the answer is honestly no. The high impact is going to yield greater fat loss and toning results for you. But just think about it this way. If your only option is low impact or don't do it at all, the low impact is gonna give you a lot better results than just nothing. So try to focus on what you can do and you know, work with the situation that you have and don't get down on yourself if you're not doing everything perfectly or at the highest intensity. That's not important. What's important is just that you do something and you start with those baby steps and start going in a forward motion. That is gonna get you so much more fit than just being like, I have bad knees, I can't do this and just calling it quits. I'd love to see you staying in that positive forward motion mindset and thinking if things aren't perfect, that's okay. I'll just work with where I'm at right now, use what I have, do what I can do and keep moving forward. That's what living lean is all about. It's not about always being high intensity or always being perfect or always being pain free. That's just not the way life is. So use what you have, do what you can and you're gonna be great. If you want more workouts like this one that you can modify to be low impact and gradually work up to the high impact, high intensity versions. It's all inside Tone at Home. I want you to really, you know, take advantage of those low impact modifications and do what you can versus doing nothing at all. Don't worry about following those workouts to the highest intensity. Just do the intensity level that feels good to you. It's all about feeling good and making small bits of continuous progress and always moving your fitness level forward. So the link to get the program is down below. You can do every single workout follow along on video with me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it and you got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you at the next one. And keep living lean. Mm -hmm.